hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and welcome back to another financial episode of Walking and Talking and Ride and Slide with your boy, Courtney P. So YouTube, so Birmingham, your boy Courtney P. wants to talk about a very important topic, and that is adult kids draining their parents. And what I mean by this is is these kids are basically becoming liabilities to their parents that are on fixed income, are basically close to retirement to either where the parents are not able to retire, you know, or the parents basically are on fixed income and may be looking for a job or may be facing a hardship because of their adult child, you know. And what I mean by this is that some people will think about, well, you know, people have kids in the house 35, 40 45, 50 years old and older sometimes. However, that does not necessarily mean that the child is basically being a liability to the parent. That child could be paying the parent four or $500 per month for rent. You know, obviously, you know, you have to get the grass cut and some type of maintenance upkeep done in a house a lot of times. So just say for, the, for example, the grass is like $60 per week to get cut in a house, you know, that's $120 a month. If that child is actually cutting the grass, that's $120 that the parent is saving on grass being cut, as well as another $500 that they're receiving in cash, which comes to $620. Now, the average rent in Birmingham, Alabama, throughout the South and the country is increasing. That's why we have this inflation issue that we have. So, you know, your boy Courtney P is just saying, be mindful if you do have an aging parent to make sure you're not a liability, you know, because sometimes this could actually bring them closer to death, you know, by actually having to take on a job, you know, at 65, 70 years old, or, you know, basically being retired and having to come out of retirement to either help you or your kids. You know, again, this is a big, big problem. I feel like in our culture where some kids are draining their parents financially, you know, and so again, even for the people that actually live outside of their parents' home, you know, they'll say, hey, look, I'm independent. But you maybe have a, par a car or apartment that you can't afford where you're paying, you know, $1,300, $1,400 per, per month for rent, and your parent is paying four or $500 to help you out. However, that's coming out of that parent's retirement to where they may have to go back and work. Or this situation is basically causing a hardship to that parent in some type of way. So, like we say all the time, we are gonna keep it positive. We are gonna keep it pushing. We are truly making allies over en enemies. And we also have to protect our elderly because we want our parents, we want our grandparents to live, you know, as long as possible. And in some situations, the parent is not just taking care of the child, adult child, they're also taking care of the adult grandchild. So again, if you have multiple people that's actually living in a household that's not contributing anything or contribu contributing the minimal, you know, that is creating an awful liability to where, you know, this parent, you know, a grandparent is basically has a hardship because of someone else. And your boy Courtney P feels like that's not right. Your boy Courtney P feels like there's no sense of responsibility. Your boy Courtney P feels like this is a situation that's always gonna try to bring our culture behind or gonna keep our culture behind. But like we say all the time, we gonna keep it positive. We gonna keep it pushing. We making allies over enemies again and again and again. Thanks for walking and talking and riding and slide with your boy Courtney P talking financial again and again and again. Thanks for walking and talking and and ride and slide with your boy, Courtney P, again and again and again.